Hey, what's up you guys? It's Zach with PC Bros. And today we have some problems to fix. I noticed in the last video, this fan here was broken. And I was like, hey, this might be a good video to show how to replace the Intel stock coolers. Because compared to the AMD ones, these are actually a little bit different. They don't have regular screws. So there's some good little nuances I can go over to help with replacing CPU fan. You will need a flathead screwdriver and you'll need some alcohol wipes to clean up the thermal paste from the last CPU. And of course we have our new fan here that does have the thermal paste pre-applied. All right, let's get right into it here. So before we start taking things apart, let me turn off the PC here first. I'm gonna unplug it. And let's go ahead and set it down flat. Like I said before, Intel CPU coolers are a little bit weird. They don't have regular screws, but with the flathead, you should be able to get in between those grooves and turn them left. It looks like you should hear a click. After you've done that, remove the CPU plug. And before you take off the fan, make sure you wiggle it a little bit first because the paste is gonna be kind of sticky on there. And if you just pull it straight out, that CPU might be coming with you. All right, so wiggle. I see that this side right here is still on a little bit. And there we go. Okay, we, we have a lot of paste to clean off. That's why we got these. We're gonna make sure we're cleaning the paste off on the cooler as well as the CPU in here. Let's go ahead and take one of these and clean off the fan here. Epic. Now we clean off the CPU. All right, we can sit there for a second, wait for it to dry, and then we are going to go over the new cooler here. Now I just picked the same one. We want the fan to rest on these four holes that are on the motherboard. So we are going to take the fan and make sure we have that good orientation before we lock everything into place. So I like to take the cable and run it directly to the top right where that CPU fan header is. I totally just grabbed the wrong one there, the old one. So we're going to again line it up. Don't try to wiggle it too much because there is paste on it now and it should stay kind of still now when it's in all four of the holes. All right, so the interesting part about these Intel CPUs is that you do not need to screw them on. You take two thumbs and you push on each corner and it will click into place and lock into place. So we are going to go alternating corners here. So you can start with one corner, go to the other. That way it stays pretty even. So I'm just gonna go on this bottom one right here. You want to make sure you hear those clicks. Sweet. Now when it works perfectly like that, Intel CPU coolers are pretty awesome. But sometimes if these are a little off place or if they were twisted before applying, then you will not have that click because these will be pushed out of place and you will have to reset it. And sometimes it can get confusing on which way to reset. All right, once you've installed that, we're going to take the CPU cable and plug it into the fan header, which is usually this one right here on that top right. And sometimes I just like to hide the cables, tuck them in between the RAM and the cooler, and we should be good to go. I'm going to plug it in and make sure it works. Cool. Looks like that is spinning perfect now. And it looks like we have successfully installed an Intel CPU fan. Mm -hmm. 